I hate to bring this up, but I think modern Christians are putting the cart before the horse. The God of the Old Testament, which the early church refused to abide by, and exactly why they call their Bible, which is the only thing they followed, a New Testament, was the God of Thou shalt have no other God before me. The God of the New Testament continuously said, Seek each other first, like constantly. Love your neighbor, love your family, love your parents, love your children, love your enemy. Yet modern Christians think it high praise to be seen as one that puts God before even husband, wife, neighbor. They fail the very lesson that the New Testament spoke of. They are so obtuse, they don't even get why he was put to death. It wasn't because he said he was God, which he constantly denied. It was, was because he dared say, stop looking to God and start looking to each other. If any preacher tells you to see God first, he has to be a Jew and not a Christian. And if he's not a Jew, then he's not teaching from the Bible and is instead trying to fleece you because that is not the entire lesson of the New Testament. I just read a story of men who rescued this woman from a storm at great peril to themselves. On national radio, she then proceeds to thank God in front of them and never even saying thank them. This is the exact opposite of what Jesus taught. Why is this point so important? Because the entire point of the New Testament was to get away from the Old Testament. The supposed Gentiles would not convert to Ju Judaism unless there was a New Testament that did not observe anything from the Old Testament. Let me repeat that. The Jews who created Christianity when trying to grow their religion and recruiting Gentiles had to come up with a New Testament and promise not to have to do anything from the Old Testament. This new philosophy of a God that specifically said, don't look to him, but look to each other, was very attractive to people that didn't know the Jewish God, didn't want to mutilate their body, didn't want to stop observing their own traditions, didn't want to serve a God that directly intervenes, since that's how nearly all other religions were at the time, i.e. non-pushy gods. What is rather glaring is that the books that follow the Gospels nearly say the opposite of what the Gospels say. But you have to keep in mind that they were Jewish authors. Jesus constantly told the disciples, you don't get it. And this is my complaint against modern Christians and preachers. You don't get it. How can you pretend to be a Christian to a man that said, love your neighbor and yet turn around and wish death 24 seven and even pretend that a death monger president is Christian and even cheer when he announces how he has murdered people. Jesus even specifically said the days of an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth are over. Now it's the day of love your neighbor and love your enemy. If I can visit with a KKK member, break bread with blasphemers, feed the hungry, clothe the poor, not have a shred of hate in my heart, so can you. I'm not telling you to be a Christian, but I'm telling Christians to be Christians. If they're going to call themselves Christians. Thank you for watching the Chicago Live Show.